Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna see about Yes Bank Limited. So, after seeing this name Yes Bank Limited, uh, there are two important news one should keep in mind before trading on 24th of February 2020. So, what is the basic first news is that uh, in first is the investment news in Yes Bank. The second is the loan exposure news to Yes Bank. So friends, before going this video, if you are new to this channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares including S Bank Limited. So first, let us see the bad news because uh, if you see the bad news, uh, then the good news may be a very very good tool for you. So the first thing we must say is about the bad news. So what is the bad news regarding S Bank Limited if you ask me guys, the loan exposures of S Bank Limited. Because we already informed our friends previous week itself that regarding the Vodafone ideas loan exposure of his bank limited. But previous week that news was a very very bad news for his bank limited. Now as per the latest news of his bank limited if you ask me friends Vodafone idea has started to pay the AGR dues which means it, the company is not going to shut down. If this company is not going to shut down, I mean, I mean the Vodafone idea is not going to shut down. Yes Bank Limited will definitely get benefited because of Vodafone idea limited. And also you should note that Yes Bank Limited was trading in the range of 40 rupees. And we also said that due to this uh, bad news of Vodafone idea, the share may come down and it came down. I think it is, it is Yes Bank Limited is playing a game from the range of 34 rupees to 40 rupees. And we clearly said the resistance is 40 rupees and the break, uh, breakout of the share is 41.85. Yes, bank breakout level is 41 rupees 85 paise. So that trend should be achieved by Yes Bank in order to move up and higher. So this was the news or the bad news. I think it is a type of bad news, but it is not entirely bad news because if Vodafone idea starts to pay a huge amount to this group. Or the AGR group, then Yes Bank Limited may get benefited because of this. Because if Vodafone Data does not go to insolvency, it will pay regularly direct interest, and the much of loan and interest is being paid to Yes Bank Limited is very, very high. So, second news is that Hinduja Brothers and also the Seri Brothers is trying to invest a lot of amount in Yes Bank Limited. So, what basically Yes Bank Limited is doing now is they are searching for investors and friends it has been uh, one month or so uh, with the January month end there was the uh, EGM calling for the 10,000 crore QIP amount and yes bank investors are definitely posted a positive news as 98 percentage of shareholders has approved to raise around 11,000 crore using QIP or using the fresh bond issues or the foreign investor FCCB issues etc and also is bank limited is planning to raise their share capital to the 1100 crores so how this news is going to help this because previous week S bank limited has said there are four parties they are going to invest in S bank limited so basically Hinduja groups is going to be the next to other fifth party to go and invest in S bank limited but this was the news given by the media people, neither this S-Bank management has clarified that and also you should note that and also you should note that Hinduja Brothers also has not confirmed that. But rather the news is saying that S-Bank limited investment they may invest only if they have invested in a less price. Because for an investor investing less price is very very important because they could earn a lot of money in return. So that is a basic news regarding S Bank Limited in the type of investment category. So how this news is going to pan out for S Bank Limited tomorrow if you ask me friends. S Bank Limited is in the position of a upward movement because of this news. But if you see friends, the market is being disturbed due to various issues such as this coronavirus breakout and also other socio-economic factors which are disturbing our market a lot. But I think this point could be a better buying opportunity for S Bank Limited. I can, you could see a target of 53 rupees in S Bank Limited. We are already constantly maintaining our target of 53 rupees in S Bank Limited because once this 
sort of issues in the market clarifies and this X Bank Limited is going to get enough capital which they require. Then S Bank Limited can be a multi bagger for the future, sure, guys, because S Bank Limited has already lost around 80% of their value recently. So, this news could have a positive impact on S Bank Limited. And this is about S Bank Limited, guys. If you enjoy the video this till now, then make sure you leave a like and also click the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares including this share guys thank you once again all